Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, do you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Grey Wolf. Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. <laughs> Greetings, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Call of Jerez Gunslinger. I'm Zerul, your conductor for today's train recommend episode. Today we're going to go ahead and it uh, looks like we're tracking down Grey Wolf, uh, Renegade Apache. So uh, let's go, just go and jump right into this. Here we go. A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high they tickle the nether regions of heaven. On a mountain far, far away. Now, before we Grey do this... Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony. And the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Yep. All right, so before we do this, let's, we got ourselves a skill point to, to, to level up here with. Hints about enemies behind you, spot enemies behind your field of vision during concentration. Markers on the screen point towards nearby enemies that would not want to be seen. Yeah, let's just do that. And then one more, and we got ourselves a golden rifle. All right. What do we have here? Nice terrain. The graphics are pretty pretty decent, pretty pretty well drawn, I think. Right up the path here. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. You think? He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution, and were more than willing to die for him. Well, don't worry, I'm sure we'll be able to shoot plenty of people too. I wouldn't be surprised if they killed me at least a few times before I killed all of them. Flappity, flappity. Got to show some birds. Uh, nothing obvious at least. Can we cross down here? Let's find out. Yes, we can. We got a nugget! Ooh, we got a nugget! Native Americans. Alrighty, we have... They saw me before I saw them. And it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. Alrighty. Well... 
Got at least got some more rifle ammo, that's for sure. Ah. Reload. It was rugged country. The winter home of the Cherokawas. And that's why they had retreated there. Come on. Headshot, headshot. We are filled up. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those. Oh! Dodged the wrong way. Yep. Do you believe in ghosts? Right. Next. Now serving twenty four sixty seven. Okay. Close combat, not my forte. Did you find Grey Wolf? Not at that moment, but I did find the entrance to their hideout. Whoa! There we go. Rifle ammo, rifle ammo, lots of... Got him. Got them. A deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Don't Run tell him. me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. <laughs> a little bit of stupidity doesn't help either. Or doesn't hurt either, either. Search the caves for Grey Wolf. Uh, right. That means we go this way. Whoa! Ah! I didn't see you guys down there. Let's heal up a little bit here. Shot. Not a, quite a headshot. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide. You know, I say. wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit as they had torches on the walls. As anyone who plays Minecraft can tell you, Torches everywhere. However, it does does not appear that they are observing the right hand rule. In fact, I distinctly see several of these. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Next. Ooh, shiny stuff. Shotgun. Another nugget. More ammo. Gotta like this music. Oh. How big was his cave? Big as hell, Ben. 
Chiricahua had hid out there during the Indian Wars. Shots. Ooh. I'm sure I don't have hit points. Got him. Headshots. Come on, give me some more people. I need that They thought rifle. it was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? Anyone up there? No! To be honest, I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. I knew that was going to happen. Can't believe I messed that up. Knew it. It looks like the death sense is just a, a timer. You get one every every so now and then. Next! I am just not in... Runner! Runner! Got you! Got you! Got ammo. All right, that's what I'm looking. That's what I'm talking about. How come you know so much about engines? A few years back, I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? <laughs> yeah, they were sisters. Religion is traditional among the Mescalero. So what happened? Well, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them <laughs> nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. I haven't seen them since. No, I mean, what happened with Gray Wolf? <laughs> oh, well, I pursued him into the cave of death. The cave of death. I wonder if it's anything like the cone of silence. Oh, we got another hat. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. That's right. Executioner, deal some headshots without any aiming, press and holding Q and E up all of your concentration in exchange for marking nearby banners for execution. Perfect headshots. The more concentration sacrifice, the more of them will die. Got ourselves a golden rifle. That's right. Oh, this thing looks awesome. And it holds 12 shots, too. I came upon this flooded grotto, oh. and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows, and I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. <laughs> right. As his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale faced warrior, or something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. <laughs> and indeed, 
His warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverines. They couldn't stop me though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. Oh, Executioner is awesome! Man, I shot just completely missed him. Headshot. Woo, I swear wait. I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly one just appeared. Kind of like a miracle. Or the telling of a tall tale. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Let me up. There we go. Hello. I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith. But no way in hell I was turning back. Uh. Nope. Leaping did not work. Whoops. All right, let's try that again. Maybe we can actually do this properly this time. Oh. All right. I chased after him, determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo's right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, oh, maybe no. not dozens, but there was a lot of them. At least three or four? Well, more than that, little lady. All right. Executioner is awesome! Headshot. Headshot. Got him. I had a steep climb up creek ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. All right, I sense an ambush. And wouldn't you know it, that crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches surrounding me. A hundred? God be my witness. Yeah. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not going to drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. 
Handshake. Runner. Come on, boys, where are you at? And in the end, a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Whoa. Never well, there did we go. find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have our fight versus Grey Wolf and the Apaches. I don't know if it's uh, just me, but it seems like his tall tails are getting taller as we go along. So this should be interesting by the, by the time we get to the end of this. So, anyhow, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. So have a great day, everyone, and bye-bye.